I don't know if he would or not. I like to think he would, but it's not a priority for me. Of course, you, you do have a little bit more element of danger in some of your urban neighborhoods. So those people tend to get a dog to protect their yard. The dogs end up breeding, then they have a litter of, say, eight to ten dogs that they don't know what to do with. What are you going to do? You're going to take that dog to the shelter. You know, or you're going to just, in some cases, turn it loose on the street, which is even worse. If you look in the city shelters now, about 80, 90 percent of the animals are pit bulls. These are not dogs that anybody wants, and they're being euthanized, and that's, that's a huge, huge problem. That's not because they're horrible animals. It's because there's overbreeding, unfortunately, because they do make this presentation of machoism and toughness. They're in the communities where they're less conscious about overbreeding. And so you go into inner cities all around the country and the packs of animals that are running loose are pit bulls. What is one to do with all these dogs? But it's a reality and I see it as more of a situation where it's an opportunity to work with people. Okay, let's get Queenie and then that's, okay. that's the last dog. Who would you kill for? What would you die for? Some people they don't know. Who would you ride for? How many you cry for? Who you got love for? And put over your door. Who would you run with? Catch the case with? Be a Cody with? Neither one of you say ish. Who would you be real to? Be a true friend to? Who can you trust in this world besides you? Who would you run with? Catch a new case with? Be a Cody with? Neither one of you say ish. Who would you be real to? Be a true friend to? Who can you trust in this world besides you? I live Downtown Dog Rescue is set up to primarily help very low-income people get their dogs spayed, neutered, licensed, and then we serve basically as a safety net for the dog. If the dog ends up in the shelter, we come and get the dog until we can find the owner or determine if the owner is even going to be able to take the dog back. We host spay and neuter events. We have trainers, we have dog food, we have resources, educating them a little bit and giving them information on how to incorporate the dog more into their family. Instead of focusing on, yeah, they're big, bad dogs, and that can be cool and everything, but they also are just great companions, but they need to be spayed and neutered because there's too many pit bulls. I just think, I think it's kind of messed up for people to try to mandatorily make somebody spayed and neuter their dog. But if you give the people the information to where they come and get their dogs spayed or neutered, we can help kind of calm the excess of stray dogs in the neighborhood. And that's where, you know, the breeze is getting real hit hard now is in the inner city. Because you can, you can buy them from backyard breeders for $50 to $100. You say, oh, I got a pit bull, let me breed Crazy Joe's dog around the corner to my badass bitch. And uh, we're going to have some crazy ass puppies, you know what I mean? And it's mantra to own a pit bull. They had rap songs about pit bulls, rap videos. You see them in magazines. Everything you see now, a pit bull, pit bull. All right, if this is a subtle neighborhood, then predominantly the people that live in that subtle neighborhood would want to have a subtle dog. If it's an aggressive neighborhood, then everybody want a tough dog. Don't nobody want no dog that's no punk. You walking down the street, somebody try, come try to snatch your purse, you're going to be like, hey, you know what I mean? I got my dog with me. Hey, you better go get him. Everybody wants that dog to be a protector, but they're not taking the time out to train him the way that he's supposed to be. Dog is trying to say, there she goes, there she goes. This is South Central Los Angeles and a lot of things happen in South Central Los Angeles. I don't want to walk around with a gun or a knife in my pocket expecting something to happen, but I do want to be prepared for it. Let me go get my gun. Jeff is going to get his gun. Master Canine is a club that I want to help other people train their dogs. If a person wants to buy a protection train pit, me personally, I wouldn't really advise it. You know, you have a lot of trainers out here that's not training that dog the proper way. To teach the dog the proper way, you can't do it in a year. Drop him right there. Drop him. You know, it, it just takes, you know, two or three years to get a properly trained protection dog. Stay. Having a biting dog and, and don't have the obedience in it that you should to me, that's not a protection dog. The gator is a pit bull pup. He's probably about a year old. 
Gator has a bad attitude. He hasn't been socialized. Take him out there and walk him around a little bit. He's dog aggressive. He's people aggressive. He's a beautiful dog. He just has a bad attitude. Really, he's a danger. Today, we're going to try to calm him down a little bit. So, you know, if you see something like that and you have a chance to correct it, it's a fun thing to do, you know, to me. No, no. Okay, all right, let's uh, bring him over here. Uh, we're not making him mean. Uh, we're taking it, trying to take it from him. Right, 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 right. No, no. <laughs> Walk him again, Art. Right. Heel, heel! No, baby, no! Yeah, no, no! Sit up, sit up. Well, I told you it was a problem. <laughs> no! He's a problem. After we get through working with him, you know, he's gonna be okay. Uh, it could be a number of things that made him no. the way he is. He could have been on a chain no. all his life with no. his puppyhood. No. He could have been uh, agitated from people as a puppy coming up, you know, facing them off, having people teasing. The main thing is that he wasn't socialized. He wasn't allowed to be a puppy. I don't think it's bad blood because Archie has his sister too. And, and she's not like this. So uh, to me, it kind of looks like a, a, a human error. You know, I don't, I don't blame it on the dog. I blame it on Good the boy, person man. not socializing the dog enough Good or boy. taking him out, exposing him to different things Good at a boy, young age. Gator. And Good Arch boy. just got him Good not boy, too long ago. He, is, <laughs> he did not Good raise boy. him from a pup. Let's do it one more time, Arch. Good then boy. take him off and play with him. You have to keep doing this and keep doing this till he realizes that the person is not a threat to him. You know, and as it goes on, I'll find out what he really likes doing and I'll start having a little fun with him. But right now, the thing is for me to get close to him. A pit bull, he is the warrior of all dogs. But if you socialize him, then he's just like any other dog. You're supposed to raise a dog as, as part of your family. And if you can't do that, then you don't need it. You can't be 90% committed and own a pit bull. Their needs, what's required, all of it is so much more than owning a regular dog. You guys are doing good. Let's go, guys. Whoa! I love training other people's pit bulls. The style that I'm comfortable with is a Buddhist approach as opposed to a Christian approach. A Christian approach would be about behavior equals consequence. If you do this, you get this. If you don't, then you'll have to experience this pain. Karma dog training, it's about the process used. The process literally becomes the goal. So the process is the goal in every moment. With pit bulls, much more so than other dogs, I immediately have a bond with them. I don't know why, for whatever reason, I just come in and I feel like the love that I have for the dogs, I guess it comes across and the dogs immediately feel loved. Now, just because I believe in karma, I'm not against regulations for pit bull owners, people who want to own powerful breeds. I think it's very irresponsible to just hand over the keys to a pit bull. The consequences are too drastic. It's because they were bred 